to be a good dancer. You were star dancer in high school. Oh, absolutely. And two years in a row? Yes. At Lugula Girls? Yes. And being uh, taken to Gatundu to dance from there. You? Yes. And you dance for the old man. And you I dance. Dance, and he was, uh, you know, nodding, and <laughs> and I could see the joy in his eyes. Yeah. And I'm like, wow, I have arrived. <laughs> <laughs> and and then he came to to Webuye, yeah. you know, to open the pan paper. Pan paper, yeah. Pan paper. Mills. I was in form one, mm. I think so. Mm. And I danced so much for him, and you know, I've had good days. Okay, I, do you I still do. dance, Doctor? I do. I dance. I dance. Where? I mean, where? I mean, where do you go? Uh, I go to Carnival. Oh, yes. Come on. Yeah. If if there is a good band in town, yeah, and it is at Carnival, I go. W well, there's a good band this weekend. I can go to dance. Hello. Ask ask Bien. So you know Bien. Of course, I know Bien. Bien, as a young, young, young man with their band. Yeah. Whenever, when they were just growing up in, yeah. in, 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 in their whatever, and then um, uh, there would be curtain razors for big time or yes. whatever. He would just see and I'm, I'm on the floor dancing his music. Did you teach BNMA of Saudi Soul some moves? Can he, can he credit you with teaching him uh, some moves? I, I think he, he could have taken after his father, even the singing. Even the singing. Even the singing. But I think some of the moves are yours. And the, the, the dancing, well, we, well, we dance. <laughs> I, I love his music. Yeah, he's great. And he's I incredible. haven't, you know, I could hear he's in carnival. I go to, to dance his music oh, and encourage him. Well done. Yeah. And so well I, I, I enjoy dancing. Well done. Well done. Mm. Uh, what's your favorite, rumba or reggae? Or, uh, you know, because somebody the other day said you can't stop reggae. I mean, what, what's your favorite? Uh, um, the other one of Machoka is which one? Ah, rumba. Rumba. You like that, huh? I like that one. Oh, well done. Look, tweets, messages coming in thick and fast. Orier Rogomanduli, O-R-M, says, What happened to my beloved sister was completely unfair. You're a great lady and you look even greater today. Thank you. O-R-M. Thank you. And then Dorothy Angote Muya. She says, great to see you, Nancy. Thank you, Dorothy. <laughs> you have a lot of support out there, my dear. A lot of support. Uh, but, but you know, and, and I can, you know, I, I've been, I've been in, 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 in probably similar situations to you. It's not easy rising up coming out of that hole it's not easy no it isn't people think it's easy out there but you just take seven and a half years later goodness gracious and it's not easy no no i could have died mm -hmm. i almost died okay so it wasn't easy but uh friends stood by me mm. uh, my family stood by me and i Pray to God every day, and um, it hasn't taken me seven years. It's because I've been busy. Mm -hmm. You know, when you are teaching, yeah, yeah. then uh, you you sort of uh, are not. Um, you don't have much time to do other things. But it wasn't easy. You just said you almost died. You could have died. How, what does that mean? You could have committed suicide. You could no, 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 it wasn't suicide. Mm -hmm. You know how you feel. Your body is just tired. Yeah, you yeah. might wake up and you are not waking up. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. You know how you feel like that. Mm -hmm. uh, not thinking of suicide. No. It, it just that. Oh, you're just so tired. Yeah. But you made it through, and there's someone out there who probably feels the same way you do. You did then. What do you tell them? How do you pick up the pieces? Uh, you know, it, it, it's 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 only God who can uh, determine your um, your destiny. Um, let people not um, define you, define your, um, your 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 destiny for you. Let them not. Um, be the ones to define you. Mm. Yeah, I, I believe it is only God who, who can uh, say whether I'm, I'm worth anything or not. Sure. Uh, and I, I tell people going through difficult times, never give up. Um, friends are there. Yeah. Um, colleagues are there. 
And God is there. God is there. Yes. And pray. But hang on your family. Hang on your family. And, and, and Jeff, I guess what kept me going was my boys. Okay, you, you have been battered there. People thought whether you die or not, they, they have moved on. Yeah, yeah. Probably that the biggest job they have done. Probably after the job, uh, that's the day they, they ate the best meal from their wives. Yeah. They don't care what has happened to mm -hmm. you. And you, the reality is there. You have these children whom, who depend on you. They are there. Okay? So, you, you must be strong. Mm. Because where would they go? People have beaten you and moved on and eaten and celebrated yeah. and gone. Yeah. Like this one's Tell I me think. something. Have you ever been back or do you go back to Village Market? I, mean, I shop there. Do you? Yes. New wing, old wing, both wings. I love the expansion, yeah, the, the new the expansion, wing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I never stopped, not even for a day. Yeah. Yeah, I go there. Well done. Well done. I'm, I'm a very free person. I, I move. If you judge me, you don't want me, I, well, I'll, I'll give you your space. Yeah. But what has happened is I haven't, I didn't experience that. No. I experienced a lot of warmth, a lot of uh, support, okay? And especially from my students. Mm -hmm. You know how you walk from uh, move from a very hostile environment mm -hmm. out there mm -hmm. and then i come to this environment here and you know how students are you know at first i was scared mm. i thought you know how students are they can riot correct they're <laughs> fearless yeah they can say but they didn't they just loved me and they're wow you're coming to teach us <laughs> And then I started seeing um, uh, messages. Uh, what do you call these messages? Yeah, tweets. Tweets yeah. and uh, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. My son would send them to me yes. and say, what? She's the best teacher we have ever had. So she, he shows me. I'm yeah. like, oh, really? What's up? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, really? And then, yeah. and then I said, I'll teach them. By the way, what did they tell you today, these first years? What did they tell you? Oh, first years, you know, freshers have just come in. Okay. You know, sharp, sharp children. Mm. We call them electricity. <laughs> they come from all over the yeah. public. Right. And so I had a class with them today. And, uh, and, and they asked me, uh, Justice Baraza, why would you choose to teach first years? And then I'm like, you are very important. You are the most important class for me. And that's why... I chose to teach you. Mm. Then there is a courageous one called Ndong. I mm. think Brian Ndong. Yeah. And he told me, go and tell Jeff Koinange. Because I told them I was going to Jeff Koinange. Yes. Go and tell Jeff Koinange that the media is polarizing Kenyans too much. Mm. You create this binary. You create Ruto here and you create Raira here. Mm. Or who re always binary something. And, and we laughed. You remember Friday? There was going to be that meeting yes, in Mombasa, yes. and the media was uh, showdown looming, yeah. looming showdown. Yeah. Then the showdown never came, right. and you guys have not explained why. It, <laughs> you know, you've gone. Yes. But you put us in those situations where we must fight. Okay? Yeah. Even where now, this BBI thing. Mm -hmm. I have read BBI. BBI is offering Kenyans an opportunity to create a conversation. Yeah about their lives yeah. it has not proposed anything all right it is saying we have done our politics badly our elections are murky uh we are corrupt yeah. we, we 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 don't um exercise in, in, in inclusion we marginalize people that's what they're saying yeah. all right and then i guess from there then Kenyans themselves, not through any representative, mm -hmm. please create a forum for Kenyans themselves to talk. At the moment now you have brought in politicians who will be now taking sides, you ruin it. Yeah. For me, it is a good opportunity for Kenyans to create a conversation. Let's hear what Kenyans say, how they feel. Okay? Yeah. We have never given them that opportunity to understand how they feel. And that's why I'm suggesting to Paul Mwangi, get even a counseling psychologist, social psychologist, to listen to Kenyans so that we know what policies mm -hmm. 
to come with to come up with yeah by the way when you go back to teach this brian dong fella tell him we have gotten the message okay all right just tell him and and then and then he said he he talked about a power project. I think the president was launching some yeah, huge... In Loyangalani. Yes, I was there in Marsabit. Yeah, 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 and he told me, Justice, they put it, you know, in behind the page yeah. after, after sports. Yes, yes. And then on top of the page, uh, on top of the papers, what are they saying? Tanga, tanga. Tanga, tanga. I don't know. And people accept to be called tanga, tanga, by the way. So <laughs> those are my first year students saying, <laughs> how can you ever... Yeah. It conjures such horrible messages of you, and I don't know the other one is what. Mm-hmm. But that is what you do. Create those binaries. So we are always tanga tanga or doing what, mm-hmm. or it is, it is Ruto and it is Raila. Yeah. Can't it just be issues? Okay. Mm. Having said that, do mm-hmm. you think there's going to be a referendum? It depends on what now comes out of the views of Kenya. Yes. You see, the, 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 the Kenyans, uh, I, I think they are now to, to give views mm-hmm. regarding those uh, nine point issues yeah. that the BBI came up with. Yeah. And one of the issues, of course, is uh, the system of government, uh, that our elections are murky. Mm. Probably the first past the post uh, system that, they, that we have mm. is not serving as well. Correct. Maybe we need a proportional representation. Uh, maybe the system of government, maybe it might want to change. Do we want to change from uh, presidential to parliamentary? So depending on what comes out, if it is something that touches on system of government, then it must go for referendum. Or it touches on the Bill of Rights. You know, there are some provisions. If you check um, uh, Section 16 of the Constitution, there are there are um, there are articles which you cannot change in parliament. Mm, mm. So right now, even as politicians are saying, some are saying we want parliament, and mm. others we want parliament to do what? Mm. Read the constitution. It depends on what issues that come up. If it touches on system of government, you must go for referendum. But you were part of the original constitution. You just said right, right? Yes, yes, yes. Ten years later, does yes. it need changing? Does it need? we have not even implemented it. We have not. And you see, if you look at the BBI report, Mm. it is talking about what we need to do about um, our social lives. How do we relate with each other? It's not saying the law is bad. Mm -hmm. The law is there. And it's, it's very good. And we haven't just implemented it. As for the system of government, mm-hmm. this, this parliamentary presidential thing, which keeps uh, coming and going, uh, we, we produced the Bomas draft. And for me, that is a draft which captured the, the, the aspirations of mm-hmm. Kenyans. And a part of those aspirations was the system of government. And it proposed a parliamentary system mm. of government. So that is a ceremonial president. Or whatever pa- it was. And then pa- powerful prime minister, deputy prime minister. Yes. Or two deputy prime ministers, and, and, vice president. And Kenyans debated and, and took that one. Then you know what happened mm. subsequently? Mm. Then we eventually landed in Naivasha. Mm. Those politicians were in Naivasha. Yeah. And then we had that uh, they have adopted the presidential. Yes. And all of them were there. I, I didn't hear a riot, a riot in Naivasha that uh, somebody has gone for presidential. Mm. I don't know what happened. Then now we are talking about it like it's brand new. Mm. We play ping pong with Kenyans. So if it, that is the system of government they want, let's give Kenyans a break. If that is what they want, take it yeah. and, and let's move on. And if it doesn't work, you could try something uh, else. We could try something else. No ping pong. Yeah. We, we can't live our lives just in a mess like yeah. that. Dr. Ari, if you were to change one thing in the judiciary, what would it be? In the judiciary? Yes. Oh, let's, say, let's start with Supreme Court. Hmm? You want us to... Yeah, let's start with Supreme Court. Would you, you know, the, 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 when you look at the Supreme Court, does it match up to the Supreme Court of your time? 
The Supreme Court is okay. We, we need to fix a few things here and there. But the Kenyans wanted a Supreme Court. There was a reason for it. Mm. There was a reason for it. And uh, let's see how we can make it work. And seven judges is fine? Seven justices? Well, that's okay. Sorry? I don't think it's a problem. Okay, judiciary. One mm. thing. What would you change overall? Get rid of the JSC, maybe? Uh, JSC, I think, has issues. Yeah, maybe they need to revisit it uh, in terms of composition. Yeah. Yeah, they, they could revisit it. Mm -hmm. But again, our institutions, the institutions are okay. It, mm. is, it is us yeah. and our value system. So you have that JSC. Then you hear complaints that uh, maybe some appointments are not mm -hmm. proper mm -hmm. or uh, you know how they run me through the mill through the through the dirt not the mill completely. They, no actually make that the sewer they ran you through the sewer well, completely and then now you hear probably it's easier for people yeah um, probably somebody whispers an answer to them i think i think now that goes to our ethics all right yes so we should fix our ethics um, probably revisit the composition. Okay? But judiciary, yeah. I think it was on the path to recovery, yeah. but uh, we are again setting it up to fail. Setting it up to fail. Yes. Robert Barale, very uh, well-known um, uh, motivation speaker, says, woman of grace, well-spoken, deep knowledge. You know, uh, I'm thinking, since you like dancing, and, um, you know, there's a great band. I don't know if you've heard, you know, I just sang the, you the song earlier on. Red, red wine. You know that group? Mm -mm. Why don't you come on Saturday to Carnival? Are you going to come? Yes, I can. I love dancing. We're going to be dancing? Absolutely. But, what, do you want to come to UB40? Let's see. Suhaib Carter. I was introduced to UB40 while I was a primary school. Can't forget it was a trip to Sultan Hamoud. My uncle bought a tape and it was the only one to and from. The song stuck and I love them to date. Suhaib, I like that. That's cool. I like that. Sharon Birgen Kirinji and 100 others. What? That's your name? I hope to gift my parents the UB40 ticket since it's the 25th anniversary on the 5th of February. Please make this possible. And did I mention my dad is such a fan and that he even has the small cassettes of these small artists, the same artists. Why do you call them small cassettes? We, you know, they're cassettes, you know, the tape, TDK, you know, they call them. All right. These are good answers, by the way. Amos Musila says, taking my dad there, Jeff, would be the greatest thing I've ever done to him, seeing his favorite performing live goat. You'll be 40. More tweets. Dowdy Jethro, you say, with my current financial crisis and situation, can't even afford the 5K tickets. A VIP ticket will be a miracle to me to see UB40 perform live in Kenya. I only have fair, clean dress code. Above all, a wish to see them live and have a good time. Dowdy Jethro. <laughs> Moses. Hi, Jeff. I'm Moses. I didn't, I didn't throw my wife a birthday party since I was broke. And since she's a huge fan of UB40, that would make her feel better going for the concert. All right, we'll decide who gets them. But I like the Sultan Hamoud guy. Very good. Very good. Um, we'll see, okay? And uh, you're coming to the concert, aren't you? Oh, sure, Victoria? I will. Yeah? I will. Okay. Mm. You get um, some closing thoughts going forward. Mm. Greatest lesson learned seven and a half years ago. And if you were to do it again, would you change anything? If I were to do what? Again? If you were, that incident that happened, let's say you were to, you know, rewind a bit. How different would it be? Would you do anything different? I would uh, stick to uh, my security instructions as I was given. Very, very strict uh, instructions. What are those? I can't disclose. Oh, right. Yeah. You know, you, you are a security risk, even. Yeah. And that's why they have this ring of security around you. I didn't have my security then. Uh. So I would, uh, that wouldn't have happened. But you are under such strict 
instructions on what to do yeah. in the event that you find yourself without security. And you remember that is the year when they declared Al Shabab something. Yes, it was that same month. Mm. And uh, if if Al Shabab wants to mess a country, they go for people like me. Yeah. Go for the DP. Yeah. Go for the president. Yeah. That's what they do. And and that was what I was under mm. as I ran to look for medication for my son. All right. So it was unfortunate, but these are security issues. I would do it differently. Yeah. Mm never venture out on your own no but you did as a mother yeah i was running to get medicine for you know a mother and a son or a child you can drop your whatever everything your son, everything and run yeah that's what happened dr nancy Braza, you've come out you know you went through hell base they dragged you through the sewer and through everything but you came out smelling like roses Keep fighting. Thank you. We have not seen the last of you. Thank you. I can tell you that much for free. Thank you. All right? And your students must be proud. Malimu, Daktari, whatever they call you. What do they call you? Malimu, Daktari? They call me Justice. They call you Justice. Yes. And people in the streets call you DCJ. Yes. Hello. Yeah. And you see, we are like the army. You don't lose your title. You don't. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> Once right. a brigadier, you can only be a retired uh, brigadier. DCJ, <laughs> yes. brigadier. So yeah. I retain my title, very honorably so. Yes. In fact, when you just call me Nancy, the legal profession doesn't take it kindly. Mm. No, no. We are like the army. We are disciplined. Well, DCJ, yeah. carry on. All right. Carry on. Thank you. All right. Thanks so much for being a part of Jeff Kananga Live. Remember, every Wednesday, it's all about those three letters on the keyboard that follow each other. J, K, L, like D, C, J. So, yeah. Okay. Thanks so much for being a part of the show. Keep tweeting. Why do you want to come to the UB40 concert? Let me know. The dude from Sultan Hamoud, I think I'm going to give you a pair. Anyone else? Keep tweeting. At Koinange Jeff. At Citizen TV, can you the hashtag? This is JK Live. Good night. Good luck. God bless people like this who go through hell and come out smelling like roses. DCJ? Thank you very thank much. You,